Welcome to Coinal Technology Solutions. Myself Ajit, an employee of Coinal Technology Solutions LLP Bangalore. I'm here to give you the presentation on uh, Coinal Parallel Port JTAG with HJTAG software. I'm going to teach you how to use uh, this Coinal Parallel Port JTAG with HJTAG software uh, for debugging and programming modes of your target. Before moving on to HJTAG, uh, let me tell you some important tips. First thing is that you need to install your Keel Microvision port before using HJTAG software and then on you need to install HJTAG software to use it for debugging or programming modes. Now let's see how to get on started with HJTAG. To start working with HJTAG, first you need to configure Keel or MDK on HJTAG. To do so, you need to double click on the icon showed in this slide. So when you double click on this icon, Tool configurations for Keel or MDK dialog box appears as you could see in this first figure of the slide. So you need to click on the encircled area of the first figure which opens up a dialog box called as open. So here it shows that uh, the location of your Keel Microvision 4 ID is stored location. So go into that and then select the tools icon and then click on open button. So when you, so when you click on OK button, uh, tool configurations for Keel MDK uh, dialog box, you could observe that your tools that INI is been selected. So you need to click on the config button here. So when you click on config button, one more dialog box pops up by indicating if your Keel or MDK is running, you need to close it before proceeding on. Here you need to click on OK. So when you click on OK, one more dialog box uh, pops up uh, indicating that your tools.ini for Keel or MDK has been updated successfully. So now let us see how to configure the HJTAG server. To start on your HJTAG server, you need to double click on the icon as shown in the slide. Now what settings to be made in HJTAG server? There are different kinds of settings to be made in HJTAG server before you could put on your code to the target board. To do that, uh, go on to the settings menu and the first option is USB LPT selection. So when you select the USB LPT selection, the uh, USB LPT selection dialog box appears indicating uh, through what port you want to target your board. We have two options here, one is LPT that is parallel port and one more is USB universal serial bus. So since we are uh, targeting our board through parallel port that is HJTAG, uh, so you need to select the option uh, LPT that is parallel port programming and then click on OK button. So after that the next setting is that uh, LPT JTAG setting. So when you click on LPT JTAG setting, it shows up for the dialog box as shown in the slide. Uh, these are all the default settings to be made and then click on OK button. One more setting is that LPT port setting. So LPT port setting is done according to the configuration of your port. To check your port configurations, you need to right click on your My Computer icon on your desktop. And the pull down menu that appears, you need to select the option manage. And then in uh, computer management window, you need to click on device manager tab and then check for COM ports. Here uh, we have the COM port selected is LP1 with a hex address 378. You can also test your port by pressing on the button port testing as shown in this second dialog box and then click on OK button. So after that the next setting is the target setting. So when you click on target setting at the target setting dialog box appears with these uh, options. So you need to select your processor variant is auto detect and target Indian is little Indian. Uh, now let's see how to download your code. To download your code, we have option called as auto download. To do that, go on to the flasher menu and then select auto download. So after configurations with the HJTAG server, 
you need to make configurations with H flash shell. After the basic configurations of the tools, uh, here is how your uh, hardware setup connection would, should be. In this slide, you could observe on the left side is the LPC 1768H plus board, and uh, on the right side, you could observe it is a parallel JDAC board. And one more we have is that uh, flat cable. So before you could start on uh, with the edge attack uh, configurations, uh, first you need to power up your board and make the connections as uh, shown in the slide. So when the edge attack server window opens up, first thing that you need to do is to detect your target. To detect your target, you need to go onto the control menu and then select the option detect target. So after target is detected, it uh, displays the target as shown in this image that is Cortex M3 with a hex address 4BA00477. So this image is for LPC1768 controller. To open up the edge flasher, uh, you need to double click on the icon as shown here in the slide that is edge flasher icon. So when you open up that edge flasher uh, window, it, it shows there are two window panes uh, on the left side showing a program wizard, on the right side showing a flash selection. So program, program wizard window pane shows up different options of your uh, edge flasher. The first option you need to select is the flash selection. When you click on flash selection option on the right window pane, it shows uh, different controller vendors. So for our uh, example, we have chosen NXP controller vendor. You need to click on the plus sign of the NXP for the list of controllers. So here it shows up the list of controllers when you click on the plus sign beside the NXP. So for our example, we have chosen LPC1768 controller. Uh, you can select your controllers as per your application needs. So after that, the next option to be selected is the programming option. That is the fourth option in the program, program wizard uh, window pane. So when you select the option programming uh, in the program wizard uh, window pane, uh, in the right side you could observe that is programming LPC1768. This is the first window that opens up. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to press on a reset button to reset your target. So when you press on reset button, uh, here is how it shows in the second window pane, that is right side window pane, that flash has been reset and then target has been reset. So after resetting, you need to check on whether your hardware has been connected. So to do that, uh, press on the check button. So when you click on the check button, it shows up that your flash is LPC1768 with some hex address and the target is Cortex M3 Little Indian. So this confirms that your hardware is been connected. After verification whether your hardware is connected, let me tell you the options that HJTAC server provides for programming or debugging modes. The first option that uh, HJTAG software provides is that loading code in hex format using HJTAG and the second option is loading hex file or debug through auto flash download option and key using HJTAG and one more option is that loading binary file which uses bootloader. So in this tutorials we will be covering up the first two options. And the third options, you could refer USB bootloader manual for binary upload. Now let us see the first option of downloading code in hex format using HJTAG. To download code in hex format, click on the pull down option on the type as shown in this slide. So in the options provided, so select Intel hex format. So after selecting Intel hex format, uh, you need to select your source file from where you have to download the code. So we are downloading the hex code of the LED toggle project. Okay, so here in the end circle area of the edge flasher window, click on that. 
So after clicking on that, open dialog box appears showing up uh, your project folder that is LED toggle. So click on the hex file format of your LED toggle project and then click on open button. So this is how your uh, window looks up after you select your uh, hex source file. So after that, click on program button. So when you click on program button, this is how the window shows up that you are uh, programmed and uh, verified uh, successfully. In the last slide, uh, we showed you how to download the code in the hex format. Now, one more option we have is that uh, to download your code in auto flash download option. So to do that, uh, click on again the pull down arrow and which opens up a pull down menu showing up auto flash download Intel hex format and plain binary format. Select auto flash download. Here uh, you can also program or debug the target board using Keel Microvision 4 IDE. So the success slides would show you Keel Microvision 4 for debugging or programming mode. So after the edge flasher uh, selection that is your auto flash downward selection, uh, minimize that window and go over to your uh, Keel Microvision 4 IDE and then open your project that is LED toggle project. And then on you need to make some initial configurations. To, so to do that, uh, go over to the configure menu and then uh, configure flash tools which opens up a dialog box as shown here in the slide. So go over to the debug tab and when you go to the debug tab on the right pane select the use HJTAG Cortex M3 this is for LPC1768 controller and then click on open OK button one more setting is that uh, go over to the utilities tab and again select that is use target driver for flash programming is HJTAG Cortex M3 again this is particularly for LPC1768 controller and then click on OK button. So after the initial configurations, uh, go over to the debug menu to debug to enter into debug or programming mode, and then click on start stop debug session option. So when you click on start stop debug session option, a uh, dialog box appears indicating uh, evaluation mode. Here, uh, click on OK button on the dialog box. So this is how uh, your uh, window looks up when you click on a start stop debug session indicating uh, that your code is running up. So on the left side you could observe the registers are been updating and the disassembly in the right side pane and the command uh, pane at the below. So to run your code uh, go to the debug menu and again click on the option run or either you could use the shortcut functional key that is F5. So when you click on run button, uh, your code starts running provided that you have connected your target board. After code is dumped onto the target, click on start stop option to stop the code which is running. Uh, one more is that, uh, now let's see how to debug your code stepwise. To debug your code uh, stepwise, it is the same step as you should uh, go over to the debug menu and then uh, selecting the step option or either you could select the functional key that is F11. So you have uh, different options over here. One option is that step or option which uh, gives you to exit from the current line of execution and step out to exit from the last line of the code of execution. So this slide uh, shows you how you could insert breakpoints to debug your code. So breakpoints are specifically used uh, so that you could check your code each line by line whether it's working fine or not. That's it.
Now you know how to use kernel parallel port JTAG with edge JTAG software for debugging and uh, programming modes of your target. For any technical queries, just do mail us at info at Thank you and bye-bye.